Welcome back. Let's find out if we've got anything wrong so far. For that, we go to TV's Andy Levy. Hey, Andy. Hey, Greg. Uh, before we begin, I want to take a minute to talk about something that happened Tuesday night. Around 8 o'clock here on the East Coast, R&B singer Chris Brown tweeted, No more planking for me unless it's on a sexy lady, LOL. Mm. So I saw this tweet, and I retweeted it, adding, you spelled punching wrong. <laughs> Obviously a reference to the fact that Brown was arrested in 2009 for assaulting his then-girlfriend, Rihanna. But now, in the light of day, I'd like to apologize to Chris Brown and to his fans who are known as Team Breezy. To Mr. Brown, I apologize for referencing the fact that you beat the crap out of Rihanna. It was disrespectful of me to draw attention to the fact that you put your girlfriend in the hospital. And further, it was not my place to make people remember that you beat a woman with your fists, leaving her with multiple facial contusions, a bloody nose, and a split lip. I know that now. I also appreciate the fact that you tweeted me, letting me know that children conduct themselves better than I do. You are correct, and I can only hope to one day mature to the point where I can conduct myself in a more adult manner, possibly by throwing a chair out of a window and storming out of a building with my shirt off. I ask only, I ask only for your patience. To Team Breezy, I would like to also say that I'm sorry, and thank you for your thousands of tweets, which taught me a lot about the creative possibilities of spelling, grammar, and syntax, possibilities I never even imagined before last night. In particular, I'd like to thank the female members of Team Breezy, who have taught me that as long as you can sing, you can beat the living hell out of a woman, and other women will still love you. <laughs> And lastly, I apologize to everyone for using Twitter to subtly address the fact that I think it's disgusting that a guy who put his girlfriend in the hospital can, a mere two years later, be warmly welcomed back into society and appear on shows such as Saturday Night Live as if, as if everything he did magically never happened. It won't happen again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Thank, Thank you. Him. Really, Greg, the only thing Chris Brown is guilty of? What? A felony. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go on? Yes. Okay.